I woke up to just pure chaos. Um, people ringing my phone telling me like, is it gonna go ahead? Is it not going to go ahead? And then just looking at the lads in absolute turmoil. I'm Jermaine Genus and here's the real story behind Lasagna Gate. This was the biggest game of them all, you know, it was the game to get us into the Champions League. The night prior to the game, we would all go down um, to the area where we eat and there'd be usual stuff there, your pasta, rice, you know, obviously in this case, lasagna. The lads were, were having a laugh, were smiling, every, everyone's in a good mood. Then I think that night after dinner, things just started to take a turn for the worst. And I, I spoke to a lot of the lads the next day. Michael Carrick was one of the worst by a mile. Michael Dawson wasn't feeling great. I think Jermaine Defoe was touch and go as well. I mean, you go through most of the team on that day. They were in a bad place. You know, a lot just to do uh, due down to uh, just pure fatigue as well. You know, the, the element of just being physically sick all night. You know, <laughs> coming out of both ends, it wasn't pretty at all. Don't get me wrong. If this was like middle of the season. Something could have been done. But the thing is, on the last game of the season, for fairness, all the games are played at the same time. And I think that was the hurdle that the club had run into, that we had to somehow field a team to go out there and play. So, yeah, it was get on the coach time, we got to play. And, you know, it was one in and out of the toilet all the way to Torkton Park at the time. And just looking in people's faces and it was just, you know, the, you know, when you just lose all the colour in your skin, just that was what everybody looked like. People are asleep on the side window. It was, it was not a pretty journey because I think we all knew at that time that we were, we were going to struggle. Yeah, they get that second goal and it was the minute the goal goes in really, we, we had nothing left. We were done. I was in the dressing with a group of players that had a fantastic season and had been done by this food poisoning on the last game. And all I can hear in, you know, across the hallway is singing and dancing and celebrating that West Ham had stopped us getting into the Champions League. And that stuck with us for a while, uh, that feeling. You mix that in with, you know, the cubicles full and people being sick on rotation. Uh, it's probably the worst dressing room moment I've ever been involved in. It's hard to think it wasn't intentional, first and foremost. The timing of it was just too specific to the moment. So it's hard to think that it wasn't intentional. So all of those conspiracy theories that are out there, you know, all you've got on the end of it is, you know, a picture of a, a chef with an Arsenal badge on his top going on, lucky lads. It was, it was a big joke to everybody else. Uh, and to us, it was obviously, it was, our, it, was our, it was our season's work. So it wasn't a joke. It wasn't a laughing kind of experience. The club did what they could in terms of finding out the truth. But to this day, you know, nobody actually knows, but I think we all know it was a little bit too specific.